until you actually see it, it's hard to imagine what it takes to put a big box culvert down in the street like what we're doing here. This storm drain project is an example of a rather large project uh, that the city does. We have uh, eight by six culverts uh, going in the ground about 20 feet deep. This work zone can block off um, driveways, access to sidewalks. The city of Austin has uh, some old storm drain systems that were built around the turn of the century. The technology has advanced significantly. However, the older systems uh, don't have the capacity that we need now. And so the city of Austin is going back into the neighborhoods with the deficient um, storm drain systems, increasing the size of the pipes, the number of inlets uh, along the street so that we capture more of the flow before it uh, can cause a flooding situation in neighborhoods. Big projects take big equipment. A lot of times people ask us how long we're going to be there. The large size of the equipment necessitates uh, rather slow progress in some cases because it moves slowly as it excavates deep. We understand that it's a large inconvenience and we try to minimize that as much as possible. During the uh, construction process of a storm drain, we also have to contend with the location of other utilities such as water and wastewater. Uh, so the contractor has to be careful of those utilities, not to break them, and that slows down the construction process. For some areas of this neighborhood, we'll see the real benefit of this whole storm drain project, but unfortunately, there's some of the people that didn't have a large drainage problem, but they're still being affected by the construction because the storm drain box culvert has to go from point A to point B, and if you're in that area, that construction still has to take place to get the complete line put in.